Today I want to talk about you about the lens that I think is the best for GS5. When I bought the GS5, I took the Leica 12 to 60 millimeters f 2.8 to f 4.0 for zoom lens. You know, when you zoom and the f stop goes bigger, you know. So that one is okay, but you know, if you're in low light, it's not that great. So best lens that I find out been doing a lot of research already is the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeters. It's F 1.8, but when you put the speed booster and the Sigma lens there, you can get F 1.2 actually. And this one has tested many YouTubers and many other filmmakers that go both using GS5 and everybody saying it's the best lens ever to attach with the GH5. And that's one I think also it is the best. And that one I need for my filmmaking with the GH5 and low light uh, beast of a lens, you know, that I don't have to worry too much. Uh, I don't have to rank the ISO always all the way to 3000 or something like that. Even though it depends always the light situation, you can put it in 3200 ISO, but then there's not too much noise. There's not too much noise in the video, maybe, but the colors start to crack. You know, the colors are trying, starting to make some weird, uh, weird like mixing and start to break. You know, they're not anymore that good in the codec that GH5 is bringing, even though it is 10 bit, you can edit as much as you want, more than with the 8 bit, but with the ISO problem, with the low light capabilities, you really need Sigma lens. And I'm planning to sell my two lenses I have, it's the Leica and then it's the Lumix 25 millimeters, which is the Nifty 50 in full frame, it's 1.7 f-stops at the best. So, why I didn't do it at the first place when I bought the GS5? Well, I think there was no gombo. I wanted the gombo that comes with the lens, you know, when I bought my camera. And of course you can buy it separately and just order the same package. I didn't think of that. I didn't know enough about the Sigma. I just knew that there was this uh, sale on the shop and it, it was only in two days it's going to get off and the original price is going to come back for the gumbo so i thought i know this is my chance this is my moment i need that i know i'm going to create some videos and i'm going to create myself as a filmmaker and music video maker and all that stuff so that one is my plan in i think Near future, this year I'm going to do it, but meanwhile, I don't have that lens. I will enjoy as much as I can with those two lenses I have with me already now, and I will make as much as B-roll and video shoots like low light, so I can compare it later when I get the Sigma Art lens together with the, how is it different with these two lenses what I have now here. The thing that is not good, that Sigma is uh, autofocus, but who cares? Who cares? Come on. Who, who cares? Autofocus. Come on. Who cares? I don't know if it's focused. This is the Sony, so it does focus well. But who cares if you are like uh, behind the camera making movies? And even with the GS5, if you want a blocking lens, it's so easy. You have the monitor there, GS5 monitor. You just have to tap and lift your finger and your focus with your camera. And it's manual, doesn't go away. Doesn't like do any shifting, you know. So what do you think? Am I doing the right choice? Or should I stay with these two lenses instead? and just try to make it more with the lights, for case better lights or something. I think I need that lens because the character 
in that lens with the GS5 is so amazing that you just have to do it, you know. When you feel in your heart and you have thinking something like over a year and you still can't get it out, you know, even how much you're telling yourself, no, I'm good, I'm good with this, I think you have to make the change and sell those and take the new one that you think is better for you. Uh, so let me know what you think. If you have that Sigma lens, you can link some videos of your videos, show me some example, low light, documentary, whatever. Uh, I would be happy to see those. I keep creating more and more videos and it was nice to talk to you guys. If you want to share, share this video if you want. Give a thumbs up, please. Give it to me. More inspiration and if you want to support the channel, just subscribe there. There down. I would be really happy for that one. And next week, who knows?